Hi, welcome to our webcast. There's so much content to explore at our YouTube channel, but today we're going to narrow things down to a single topic. This webcast is all about industrial rugged memory solutions. By that we mean DRAM modules which are designed to be highly resistant to vibration and shock. We're going to see three of a Pacer's rugged DRAM modules today. I'll explain their relevant features as well as the applications that they are ideal for. First up is a Pacer's Rugged SODIM. Like most standard DRAM modules, it features gold finger connectors. But its resistance to shock and vibration is significantly increased by its mounting holes. These allow the DRAM module to be secured to a motherboard, and when vibration occurs, the screws through its mounting holes will keep it in place. Most importantly, it's a JDEC compliant module, which makes it easy to install and integrate with existing motherboard design. And of all the DRAM modules we'll show today, it's also the most affordable. This product is good for situations where there may be medium intensity vibration or shock issues. Most of the time it will find its way into IPCs or embedded systems. Currently it's being used in wind power generation systems, 5G base stations and unmanned vehicles. The next step up in vibration resistance is a Pacer's XR DIM module. Like the rugged SODIM module, it's designed to fit the SODIM form factor, and it has two mounting holes. But what sets the XR DIM apart is the fact that it uses a 300 pin connector instead of a gold finger, which makes it far harder to dislodge even when subjected to severe shock and vibration. The XR DIM module is recommended for cases where extreme vibration resistance is necessary. It has already been adopted by many leading manufacturers for use in their IPCs and embedded systems. XR DIM modules are popular in the transportation, defense, and aerospace industries. And finally, we come to the top of the line module. The XR LR DIM module is a recent addition to our DRAM product line. Unlike the previous two modules, this module conforms to the LR DIM form factor. To ensure it never loses connection from the mounting board, it features two mounting holes as well as three 100 pin connectors. So again, customers who are looking for extreme vibration resistance need look no further. The XR LR DIM module is specifically designed to drive servers that are mounted in extreme vibration environments. With that goal in mind, it has been adopted by leading manufacturers in the defense and aerospace industries. We've prepared a chart that compares the three DRAM modules directly. Let's take a look at that now. As you can see, the first two products conform to the sodium form factor, while the XRLR DIM is in the LR DIM form factor. All products have two mounting holes, and there are different kinds of connectors for each product. If all you need is light resistance, rugged SODIM should be enough. If extreme vibration resistance is more likely, then XR DIM and XR LR DIM are better choices. Perhaps you're wondering just how we can be so sure that our modules can function the way they're supposed to even when subjected to extreme shocks and vibration. Well, this machine here is what we use to simulate those conditions. As you can see, we've secured these three DRAM modules and a standard SODIM in position and connected it in a typical configuration. Now we can turn on this device to put them through their paces. Phew! A few minutes on this machine simulates a significant amount of time in a high shock environment. But, as you can see, the modules are just where they were before the shaking started. The mounting holes kept them right in position, and all connections are still secure. You might have noticed that the regular SODIM module didn't dislocate during the vibration, but since its design lacked mounting holes, if this was a real-world situation, the reliability of memory signal transmission 
might have been put in jeopardy. Well, it looks like we've run out of time for today. Thanks for joining us. Goodbye.